Ciao, 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 everyone. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. We are here today to do another unboxing. However, this is from a company called Needleworks. Now, Needleworks is an Australian-based company. They're here in uh, Victoria, Melbourne, Victoria, in the eastern suburbs. And I'm really, really pleased to be able to bring you this canvas. Now, I'm going to go into the reasons as to why I picked this specific uh, painting, but I just, um, for the moment, let's just get into it. Now, when it arrived, it just came in this box. Um, indeed, I bought two canvases that day and they were wrapped around one on top of the other with uh, the packing address sticker on it and so on and so forth. So this is how the box comes. Despite being Melbourne based, the canvases and the paintings still do come from overseas. Shall, so shall we get into it and see what we get? Uh, there is no indication on the outside of the box as to the fact that it comes from Needleworks at all. Um, you can see it's come from overseas. That didn't bother me at all. Uh, I was more interested to see what the quality of the canvas was and obviously the drills. Now I have done quite a few diamond paintings from Needleworks. Uh, all be oh, well there you go. That was my fault. That was my fault. <laughs> um, uh, the ones that I've done have been custom paintings and once I get permission from certain people as to whether or not I can show them um, to you all because they are quite personal. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Um, then I'm, I'll be more than happy to show you a finished product. However, let's get into what you get in with uh, Needleworks. So obviously we have our canvas. Our drills. Oh my goodness. Oof. And oof. We'll pop the drills aside for the moment and we'll get into them in a second. Needleworks kit we get. Our really good quality tweezers. These will puncture your lungs. Be very, very careful. Okay. We get a white boat with a funnel. We get uh, some wax, which I really like in the jar. And the reason I like it in the jar is that it keeps it nice and uh, fresh. It doesn't dry out. Uh, so it's a little bit, it's, there's no markings or branding on it. However, you do get the jar. You do get a four placer. Can you see that? Oh, focus. Yep. So that's a four placer. It allows you to um, pick up four drills or diamonds at a time to place them. You get your squishy and a clear pen with a single placer, obviously. So that's your toolkit. It's it's you know it's it's um all you need all you really need to be starting in diamond painting, uh, really. That's all you need. You get everything, you always get everything you need with, um, with uh, your kits, or you should. The canvas itself is quite, it's, it's, it's nice and thick. It's robust. Um, it's, it's not that velvety sort of canvas, but it is a nice feel canvas, if that kind of makes sense. Let me just undo this tape, which, uh, don't like it when they put tape. See, look, now look. Now look what they've gone and done. Now look what they've got. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, oh, and it comes on a foam roller. There you go. I like the foam roller. Um, so it's kind of a double whammy that it's, it's not only in a box, but it's also around the roller, which protects it even more. Now Needleworks, they deal in poured glue, which again, I like, and that means that you can do what I'm doing to the canvas here, which is rolling it back on itself, okay? And you won't hurt the canvas at all. What you are actually doing is you're helping it relax, okay? Because the poor little baby's been rolled up the other way and she needs to be relaxed out the opposite way in order to lay flat. Uh, having done quite a few of these paintings and large ones at that, I find that they roll, they lay flat quite quickly. And if you're concerned and you need it to be rolling flat even longer, 
lay it under your mattress, put some heavy books on it, whatever, okay? So, I had an opportunity to purchase this in various sizes and I've seen them advertised on various other sites on in smaller sizes. This particular painting and the theme of this painting is quite warm to my heart and I'll explain to you once you see it why. I just want to make sure that it, yes it is up the other end. So shall we flip it over and see what it is? There we go. Are you able to see that? Let me just... There we are. So, can you, it is the old-fashioned Singer sewing machine. Okay? I love this painting. To <clears throat> give you a bit of history as to why I chose this painting and why this is actually going to be a statement piece in my home once I um, have it done is that my 90 plus 96 I think she is grandmother 94 90, I think, yeah, 96 she was given one of these when she was nine years old a singer sewing machine uh, when she was nine years old Italian back in Italy and that very same sewing machine she brought with her to Australia and she still has it to this day. Indeed, aside from my home economics, you know, when they teach you to, to sew at school, my grandmother taught me to sew on her machine that she brought from Italy when, um, that she was given when she was nine years old. So it's a Singer sewing machine. I'm hoping, if memory serves me correctly, and if I remember, I'll try and put the image in here somewhere so that you can see it, the original image. I'm hoping, because if memory serves me correctly, I think it might, it should say Singer on the actual uh, arm of the sewing machine. But I love this. I love the fact that it's got the flowers down there, the lace work. It's on the same walnut sort of covered uh, sewing desk if you would as um, what my grandmother has it's got the curtains at the top it's just it's just beautiful it's got the thread ready to go you know I'm looking at this and even that is just making me feel like I want to turn it just the way nonna which is Italian for grandmother <laughs> just the way nonna taught me so I love this I love this it is a big canvas it is <laughs> 80 by 100 okay this will be my biggest one yet that i have done okay and it is going to be yeah i'm going to really really enjoy it we'll have a look at the drill field i'll see if i can zoom you in the drill field is super clear can you see that now can you see the circles that are around all the symbols in the diamond painting world they are called and respectfully so either dummy circles or training circles they're designed to help guide you put the drills down specifically now they can be a good thing or a bad thing some people hate them some people love them the problem that you have especially when you get to these lighter areas here see how the, the circles are quite dark if you are not precise with placing your drills then those circles may and I say may they may show up let me tell you having done quite a few of needleworks paintings and I've had lighter sections like that they have not been an issue because when you are standing back from a painting and looking at it as you should a minimum of six feet you know or you know a minimum of a couple of meters you should be minimum Especially the bigger the painting, the more you should be standing back. Um, to, because diamond paintings are not photos. You've got to remember that they are not photos. They will be pixelated if you stand too close to them. So you're not going to get the full effect of what it will look like. So if you can see, it looks great through the camera. It doesn't look as pixelated. If I lift that up and I apologize for the glare, the further up I go, can you see the clearer it becomes? Yeah? 
And then of course, as I bring you back down, apologies, I'm not trying to cause anyone any motion sickness, okay? And she bumps the table on the way down. <laughs> uh, it, it becomes a little bit more distorted, but you're not going to get the full effect until you lay the diamonds down. So with that being said, let's get in and have a look at these drills. Now I've got two bags. Let me just quickly open them up for you. Ugh. Struggle Street. Now these drills, they do come in the individual baggies, okay? I'm not going to go through each of the colors. I don't know the names of the colors, but you can see, look, that one's, that one's a nice tight. Ooh, she's, she's tight, that one. Focus, thank you. That one's completely full. That's number six. What number is that? Let me have a look. Goodness gracious. Ah, of course it is. 310. I, I should have known. Two bags of 310. I should have known, right? Uh, however, you can see all the bags here. Now, the quality of the, bag, uh, the drills has been really good with my experience. And the sparkle is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have, especially uh, when I do the 310s, but you can see all the colors here. Now, Needleworks do, do not offer uh, ABs, or so far they haven't anyway. However, there are websites or there are other companies that you can actually buy uh, Aurora Borealis or ABs. And if you wanna know what an AB is, you can have a look at one of my other videos uh, where I do describe what that is, but they are specially um, coated diamonds that have an iridescent coating and they make them sparkle, sparkle, like they shine, like, they, like they're cray cray, crazy shine and sparkle. And when you put them down, not only do they sparkle on their own, but they lift up their friends and buddies all around them and make them shine even more. So it's really, really cool. Uh, the variation in, in colors is probably what I expect with uh, with with this canvas because it is quite you know natural tones but you've got your little pops of color of yellow and so on so i will be um, and this is you know we've got a few people that wanted to join the party here look at that the pinks wanted to come into the gray bag not cool not cool that's to be expected you're not going to get any company any company i don't care who they are um, that are going to have perfect drills, none. And I just noticed in this particular bag that I've got a few runaways of number 22. Okay, the top was open a little bit and it spilled into the bag, but that's okay. You know, I can live with that. The good thing about uh, Needleworks also is that they always um i've never been short with their colors they've always given me more than what i've needed so the color range here the color palette that you see okay is pretty consistent with what you see there so you've got as i said your brights and your, your muted browns and blacks each one of these numbers is going to coincide with the number on your on your legend which is on either side of your canvas i don't know why i'm singing but i am anywho please don't judge my singing please don't well if you must you can but you know whatevs whatevs let's pack all this away and keep going shall we what i haven't mentioned is that they are also they have their name at the bottom needleworkskits.com.au they have their legend on both sides down here and also up the top. So depending on how you work, you'll have an advantage uh, on both sides. Now the legend itself, let's just have a quick look. I'm quite used to these symbols. Now you'll see that there is the number, the symbol, and of course the DMC code there. Some of these have tripped me up before and I do find that, um, me personally, I like to work with an, uh, a light pad just because 
you know, I, I, I wear glasses and I need like, you know, as much help as I can get to be quite honest. They're symbols that I have actually worked with before. This one's new to me here. If you can see it, this one there, that one's new to me. However, there's not too much there. This one can be sometimes a bit tricky to find as well. So if anyone from Needleworks is watching and you're after some feedback, that would be it. Um, when we get into the darker sides here, they're not too bad. You've got dark colours with white letters or symbols put on them. It comes down to when it's those purpley ones that can be a bit tricky, okay? Um, so for example, if I can get in there, uh, where is it? I'm trying to get it in camera. So there's that H there. That H can sometimes trip you up. Uh, but other than that, other than that, the rest of it is really, really good. What I also, now that I'm looking at this and, and really admiring it, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm really so happy with this. What I'm liking is that there is quite a bit of, uh, oh, apologies for that. Let me try and flip this around. This is what we call confetti blocking. Okay, so it's not all the same symbol. Okay, it's actually quite heavily confetti that one. You've got what? You've got Z, T, J. There's about three, oh, and the arrow up here as well. Um, but I can get through that quite quickly. I can get through that quite quickly. And here is color blocking. That's all color blocking. That, that X there or that cross there is 310, I would imagine. Yes, it is. Yep, yes, sir. That's all 310 there. This is all 310. And this is color block confetti down here. This is block color block. This is all that white, that, yeah, 3865. Sure is, ma'am. Sure is. 3865. I'm looking at this closely now and I am actually thinking I might highlight these. I think that will look really, really pretty. Once I find out exactly what colours they are, I think I might order some ABs and highlight those swirls because I think that will look superb. Absolutely schmick. Schmick, I say. Schmick. So there are our drills. It, this particular canvas and painting comes with 39 colors, which I think is really, really great. Okay, uh, I, the only criticism that I would have is, of course, those, uh, just those couple of symbols. Customer service. Now, I'll be honest, guys, I have, I'm a part of a few social media groups and I've seen a few people that haven't been quite so happy with Needleworks. I've got to tell you that my experience, this is my personal experience, and as I said, I've done quite a few um, uh, of their canvases, and I have some more to do and that I've already that are waiting. Uh, and I want to unbox a, a custom one for you that I have uh, that I got printed by them. Customer service is all a matter of perspective, you know. To me. I have had really excellent customer service. Indeed, Patrick, cute. if you end up watching this, kudos, hats off to you. You've been amazing. You've answered all my questions. You've actually asked me or helped me when I've sent you specific photos and I've asked your considered opinion. Should I go bigger? Should I go smaller? Should I crop it? And this and that. And that, and that, and that was with my custom paintings. Um, I had uh, another small matter that I needed uh, fixed up and Patrick was all over it. So Needleworks, Patrick, onto it, onto it. Uh, as I, They do have uh, an exorbitant list of products online and up to a certain size, they have them in their warehouse, which is really, really, really good. Why is that good for my Aussie mates? Because they will, they are able to ship Pretty much almost, now I don't know what it's like right this minute as this video is put to air. However, we're not waiting weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks for the pre, you know, for the paintings that they've got online. Your custom ones, they are printed overseas. Uh, that much I do know because I asked them. 
they are printed overseas and sent back to their office there I think it's in Moorabbin if I'm not mistaken I'll put all the details in the comments below in the, um, and then they get shipped to you wherever you are whether you're in Australia or overseas so these ones that they have online I think there is a section on their website where it says you know what they have in stock and they've got thousands 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 um, now this particular one I got this in the 80 by 100 because I did not want to miss the detail I am going to be doing a video in the future uh, where I do a comparison of sizes and show you why bigger in this instance and size in this instance does matter yes it does ladies and gents yes it does um, so it's not to say small canvases don't render well or don't come out well not at all that's not what I'm saying but I will be able to offer you some guides as to what to look out for and what size to order your paintings in to get the best results for you okay so needleworks needleworks.com.au is the website www I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever I'm just bringing to you an unboxing of my, one of my next ones that I'm going to be doing here okay and the fact that they're you know an Aussie company uh, an Aussie company yes their products are coming in from overseas aren't they all aren't they all there are very few that are printing them here and I look forward to uh, seeking them out also and you know talking and seeing what products they have and what paintings they have and speaking about them because I'm all about supporting you know our Aussie mates as well as those that uh, come from overseas so thank you so much Needleworks I hope you've enjoyed uh, the content today if you'd like to see more unboxings and um, content please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to let you know when a video is going to be next uploaded and uh, with all that being said much love to you all much love and ciao ciao for now